probably noticed that the internet is buzzing with anticipation about ChatGPT, unless you've been living off the grid for the past several weeks. Since OpenAI's ChatGPT has been trending on social media for some time, many people are curious to learn more about the business. Everyone wants to know who owns OpenAI ChatGPT and when it was launched right now. While the company has caught the internet's attention thanks to its new AI initiative, it makes sense given that the bot has been praised for its amazing responsibilities and is referred to as mind-blowing. People are naturally interested in learning more about the business. Who founded OpenAI? Where did it come from? And why did ChatGPT get started? We're going to talk about all of this in the video, so make sure to stick till the end and do not forget to subscribe to Big Business Stories for more such videos. You may type natural language prompts with ChatGPT, a product of OpenAI, a major artificial intelligence player. ChatGPT provides natural sounding, though a little stilted, responses. The bot keeps track of the conversation's flow and bases its subsequent responses on past queries and answers. It gets its information from the vast amounts of data available online. Who is ChatGPT's CEO? It can now improve grammar, break down complex text into simpler concepts, turn movie titles into emojis, and even fix Python code errors, according to OpenAI. Sam Altman serves as ChatGPT's current CEO. ChatGPT launched on Wednesday. Today, it successfully crossed 1 million users, he recently tweeted. The chatbot has advanced artificial intelligence. Users have been more inquisitive as a result of this platform's similar human-like responses and precise rapid answers. The company's CEO, Sam Altman, has already stated that the platform would eventually be monetized and that it will be necessary to do so someplace. However, the costs associated with computing are exorbitant. But wait, when did this all begin? This is the story of how ChatGPT came to be, as well as the journey of two men who believed to imagine a better future for AI. We know you're curious about Sam Altman and the birth of OpenAI. Say no more then, we'll start right away. Sam Altman was born in 1985 in the center of California's Silicon Valley. Sam was introduced to the world of technology and creativity at a young age, thanks to the success of both of his parents as engineers. Sam got his first computer when he was five and was enthralled by how it operated. He spent hours every day throughout his childhood refining his talents and learning how to code. Sam's parents supported his passion for technology and natural curiosity by enrolling him in advanced computer science courses and encouraging him to take part in coding challenges and hackathons. Sam soon established himself as a genius in the IT world, and by the time he was a teenager, he had already created a number of popular applications. Sam left high school at the age of 16, enrolling in a renowned university instead, where he proceeded to excel in computer science. The tech world would take notice of his enthusiasm for technology and his creative ideas right away. Sam leaped at the chance to work with some of the top engineers in the world when he was given several internships at tech firms. By the time Sam was 21 years old, he had already established a thriving business due to his innate skill and ambition. Despite his success, he rapidly established a reputation as a visionary in the IT industry and became well known for his capacity to transform concepts into fruitful products. Sam maintained his modesty and dedication to his work. He continued to study and grow, always looking for new challenges and ways to create. He was known for his ability to bring people together to achieve big things and was always willing to engage with other engineers and entrepreneurs. Sam's childhood was defined by a tireless desire to learn, develop, and create. His love of technology and steadfast commitment to perfection propelled him to become one of the most important executives in the technology business. Despite the many hurdles he faced along the way, Sam stayed persistent in his quest of knowledge and his determination to use his expertise and experience to make a difference in the world. Sam Altman has become a global role model for young people pushing them to pursue their passions and aspiration, no matter how unattainable they may appear. He continues to set a good example by pushing the limits of what is possible and inspiring others to do the same. Okay, pause. We know you're all intrigued by the story and want to know more. But first, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Big Business Stories before we continue to tell you about Altman and the other mysterious man's togetherness. Now, on to the birth of OpenAI. 
Sam Altman was a successful entrepreneur who started many companies and worked on cutting edge initiatives, but he was always looking for new ways to make a difference and leave his imprint on the world. Sam got the opportunity to meet Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur behind Tesla and SpaceX, one day while attending a tech conference. Sam and Elon proceeded to converse and debate their visions for the future of technology. They were both concerned about the possible risks of AI and the necessity for ethical AI development and deployment. They recognized a market gap for a firm that could concentrate on developing AI in a way that was safe, ethical, and in the best interests of humanity, and thus OpenAI was founded. AI was founded with the objective of responsibility and safely advancing artificial intelligence. The company was committed to undertaking research and developing artificial intelligence technology that could help humanity and address some of the world's most pressing issues. Sam and Elon were joined by a team of the world's greatest engineers and researchers, all working together to realize their goal. OpenAI's early years were defined by fast expansion and innovation. The company immediately established itself as a pioneer in AI research, with its work well recognized and appreciated in the field. Its team of professionals from the Middle East worked relentlessly to create cutting-edge technology and advance the area of AI in novel and interesting ways. ChatGPT is significant. In regions where there is good training data for it to learn from, the tool appears to be fairly knowledgeable. It is not yet omniscient or intelligent enough to replace all humans, but it can be creative and its responses can sound authoritative. ChatGPT has over a million users in just a few days after its inception. It's also becoming a major business. Microsoft announced in January that it would invest billions of dollars in OpenAI. A modified version of the ChatGPT technology is currently powering Microsoft's new Bing search challenge to Google, and it will eventually fuel the company's push to embed new AI co-pilot smarts into every aspect of your digital life. OpenAI has also created a $20 per month ChatGPT Plus service that replies faster and receives new features more frequently. However, OpenAI cautions, ChatGPT contains a variety of possible hazards, some obvious and some less so. It's a mistake to rely on it for anything critical right now, Altman wrote on Twitter. We have a lot of work to do on toughness and honesty. So what exactly is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is an AI chatbot system released by OpenAI in November to demonstrate and test the capabilities of a large, sophisticated AI system. You ask countless questions and almost always get a useful answer. Write me a narrative, for example, and when it does, say, now make it a little more exciting. You request that it create a computer software that will show you all of the many ways you can arrange the letters of a word. But do you know what the catch is here? ChatGPT is completely clueless. It's an artificial intelligence that's been trained to recognize patterns in large swaths of text taken from the internet, then further trained with human input to offer more useful, better dialogue. As OpenAI warns, the answers you receive may appear plausible and even authoritative, yet they may be completely incorrect. For years, companies looking for ways to help consumers get what they need and AI researchers attempting to solve the Turing test have been interested in chatbots. That's the classic imitation game, created by computer scientist Alan Turing in 1950 as a technique to assess intelligence. Can a human chatting with a human and a machine distinguish which is which? ChatGPT has quickly become a popular internet utility. According to UBS analyst Lloyd Walmsley, ChatGPT surpassed 100 million monthly users the previous month, completing in two months what TikTok took nine months and Instagram took two and a half years. According to the New York Times, 30 million users use ChatGPT on a daily basis, citing inside sources. Last but not least, some are even claiming that this is Google's replacement. Well, what do you think? Comment and let us know below. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!